is up guys okay so we're starting a new campaign today simply being because yes we are stopping our Rome campaign simply being because it's getting boring okay um, and also you know we had I didn't pay attention to politics as much as I should and we we're playing on very hard um, so we're gonna be doing a new campaign today I posted a poll up on the community tab and you guys chose Athens and you know I don't really know what to think of that guys you know I kind of feel like you guys hate me you know uh, it's not an easy faction to play um, I've never actually played it myself but uh, I've watched other playthroughs and it's quite difficult so here we go we're gonna get a good old Athens the birthplace of democracy so it has special systems okay so the political tradition is Plataea, special systems, reforms, and core mercenaries. So I don't know what that means. I think it's because they can permanently recruit mercenaries <coughs> as normal units in the normal recruitment tab. Alright, so we have School of Hella, Hellas, increased research rate, naval prowess, increased experience rank for Hellenic ship recruits, and military decline, increased non-mercenary recruitment costs. Well, that's not good. <clears throat> so the start year is going to be 278 BC. Starting challenge is normal, so we're going to bump it down to hard here. Alright. So we also have Greek knowledge plus 5% research rate and classical heritage plus 2 to cultural conversion. So that's pretty cool. Um, so guys, I'm not really going to get stuck into too long of campaigns. Simply being because, look at this guys. Look at all the really cool factions, really beautiful factions that you can play in DEI alright a lot and I don't want to get stuck down on just Rome okay just classical Rome um, obviously I have my head-to-head -head with my favorite faction as Carthage Carthage is definitely my favorite and uh, yeah we had a Macedonian campaign we might want to bring that one back as well we could do Seleucids Bactria is a very cool faction Epirus is pretty cool um, Egypt is also very cool these guys are really interesting you know the Indian faction um, we also play some, you know, the Iceni or any of the Barbarian factions. But for now, we're going to be doing a as Athens. So let's go ahead and start this campaign. for far too long. Decisive action must be taken against them. They have established a defensive alliance with Sparta, but their relations will crumble if the Spartans believe that Greek independence is at stake. Epirus also poses a threat to the Peloponnesus. Intervention there can only strengthen your ties with Sparta. Support all true Greek states, and they will surely join you in your struggle against oppression. Athens will be free. Athens will be free. All right, so our first mission is completely control two provinces either by direct ownership or through a client state or military allies. So here's what I was thinking, guys. I think we should just go straight for Sparta, honestly. Because um, it's in our province, and we also have to hold Crete. Okay, so honestly, I just don't don't like this I don't like Sparta just sitting here and we having to go and control this whole province when we don't even have control of our home province and I don't like I don't like Sparta I don't Welcome. we're gonna bring I'm back old rivalries here we're a client state right us. now interesting well We'll ex you're gonna make me One pay for a trade agreement, really? On the altar of our How about no? Yeah, no, not doing that. I wonder what We're gonna go and get some trade agreements going, should. hopefully. Be welcome. Be welcome. Anybody? No. Interesting. Well met, friend. Okay. So nobody wants to trade with us. So we're just going to go ahead and start recruiting Hoplites. Also get some pretty good mercenaries. 
And we're going to go to ahead and declare war on Sparta right off the get-go here. Oh, we're trading with Sparta. Okay. Then... I am we have a non-aggression pact with them as well. Alright, so... They said that they have a defensive alliance. So they might have a mechanic built into the game. So we're just going to go ahead and go for the... the Aetolians here. So first we're just going to sit here and recruit some troops. Food is an issue. Food is a big issue. Let's go to research. Start getting some better barracks building up in here. So what can we get with this? Yeah, we can get some uh, pretty good stuff. Mercenary pikemen. Better cavalry. Okay, cool. Other than that, let's just save our money at this point. We might just have to recruit some mercenaries before we head to Larissa and attack it. But then that opens us up to Macedon if we don't want to fight Macedon. Hmm. Interesting here. Interesting. Hmm. I kind of really want to go to war with these guys, though. Greetings, friend foreigner. Greetings. Yeah, I'm gonna break these. Oh, we have to wait five turns. Cool. Alright, let's go in and turn. I'm gonna change that UI real quick if I can. Uh. No. Or is it? There we go. Take the battery meter off for you guys. Yeah, I took a little sneak peek at my graphics. I'm running this on extreme with reshader. Hope you guys enjoy the thumbnail. Um, Obviously, guys, I have a different style than most people. I like using screenshots because it really just brings alive the game, especially with reshader and extreme graphics and a good graphics card. It looks next gen. It looks great. All right, so Larissa is definitely going to have to fall. We might have to just recruit mercenaries. Good. Okay. You have a new unit in the army. Okay, thanks. I don't need your advice. Thank you though. Appreciate you. Not really. So okay, after this, I think infantry. Mm, got some peltasts. Probably just get two slinger units. It's gonna be a, probably a quick or a slow start here because we're gonna have to. Could go to war straight with Ma Macedon and then come back down and hit Sparta. That would be smart. I am honored to receive you. Who's Macedon at war with? They're at war with the Tosilabogi. Okay. Oh, we gotta focus on this politics. Alright, so let's get these guys married off. Make them a little happier. Okay, politician. Hmm. These guys are not happy. But I don't want to give them too much power. So we're going to send them to Pergamon. And I think that's all we're going to do for now. Before it gets, starts getting a little too expensive. Cavalry is an issue right now. I want to look at these real quick. Where's our special traits? Mm-hmm. 
we're respected right now, so we're gonna keep it there. But our character, you need to get married. You're too low of a gravitas. Okay. Well, we'll fix that. All right, let's go and enter. Yeah, I like that plan. I think we should go to war with the Aetolians and then end up taking. We have oh, okay. Well, that the solves it for us. And the piece is in place. There is no oh. All right. Well, we're going to have to enter. I want Macedon to be friendly with us for right now. So we're going to go to war with the RDI. <coughs> we're going to face the famous Spartans. Alright. No, I'm not paying you that. Sorry. So if we can get close and have the Spartans come out and maybe face them in a defensive position in a camp, we might be able to hold them back and win. I think that's probably our best bet here. They're building up an army faster than we are. Okay, how much are they going to have next turn? 10? Okay. We have 10. Let's get a Cretan Archer for sure. Let's get two of these guys. So let's get one of them and then a cavalry unit. Because we are going to need our cav in order to smash into their rear. Let's get them as well. We're going to spend some money on mercenaries, but we got to outfit this army quick. We got enough money to take that for right now. Alright, let's go into end turn. Actually, let's check politics real quick. Make sure these guys are nice and happy. Send them to Bithynia. Let's try to improve relations with them. Alright, politics is already looking quite better quite a bit better mm -hmm. yeah we're gonna come down here and set up a defensive stance what do they have they have 14 in their garrison okay let's go and enter let's try to get a battle in here if you pay me yeah, I'll accept that. So really, I'm just going to become like the master of Greece. Um, maybe also the Attican. Not the Attican. Uh, the Io Iotonian, Iolian, however you pronounce it. The uh, coast here, these two Greek city-states. Maybe Bithynia. And then that's it. And then I'll be the end. We're just going to do a quick little campaign. Not world domination or any of that craziness. And then we can move on to the next faction, which I'll put up another poll. And I'd much rather like this, guys. I like just doing quick little campaigns. And maybe like with Parthia or something, we can we can do a, a larger campaign. Um, but yeah, Good. don't want to get too stuck. In her wisdom would be proud of this new technology. Oh, will, would she? Okay, I think we need to go up here. Let's just sneak in real quick here let's get some more mercs okay we can only get a peltast that's fine we're gonna move south what's cheap what's cheap these guys are decently cheap uh, what else do we need let's get get one of these peltasts all right and then next turn we'll go to war with sparta we'll march to war get some revenge for the peloponnesian wars rome is going to be worrisome especially since john you said that we're going to get smoked by rome and we might we very well might might be a very distinct possibility um, we're gonna put up a fight though, right, for Greek and Hellenic independence. Birthplace of democracy, after all. Rome took a lot of stuff from us, right, because that was just kind of the 
way of Rome. They would take stuff from their enemies or other people and then kind of like twist it a little bit to their own. You know? Greatest plagiarizers of all time. Alright, we're going to war now. It is winter. Okay, we probably shouldn't be going to war at this time, but we're going to do it. We're going to march right up to their gates and set up in a defensive stance and prepare. Okay, so they have, what, 16 men in this army? So let's go ahead and get cav unit. We can afford it. Might go a little negative, but it's fine. Alright, here I think we should go ahead and get a grain market. For a little added income. Politics is fine for right now. We're going to get you married, though. Got to, you know, continue the line of the Archon. Alright, so we're going negative, but we can handle that for what? Probably like 10 turns. Public order is still good. Hopefully they come and attack us right away. So they're at war with us. Still don't want a trade agreement. I don't really don't like these Macedonian dogs. Sparta, you might want a peace treaty. No, actually, you can you can count something. What do you got? You got some Spartan helots, some Skiritai swordsmen, some Peloponnesian mercenary hoplites. It doesn't look like you have too much of the big, big nasty Spartan hoplites. All right, let's go ahead and turn. Attack me, Sparta, please, please. Do it, do it. Do it, no balls. Aha! Yes. It says we can't win this, but I disagree. I disagree. We're gonna fight this. They only got two of the big, big boy, bad boy Spartans. Let's get it. We're fighting two to one, but we have a distinct advantage. Alright, beautiful Greek looking map with the mountains over here in the distance. Alright, let's get our cab out here. So really only two of them are of any worth. The rest are, you know, capable of handling archers and the like, but that's about it. Let's go ahead and set up our barricades. Set up our deployables. They don't really have any calves, so don't not really worth using the caltrops. Alright, so we have a good infantry line here. And this cav unit, was this Athenian bodyguard cav? Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these units. These guys look pretty cool. These Athenian hoplites look awesome. Got the nice owl on their shields. And we got the uh, heavy mercenary hoplites. These guys look really, really good. These guys look ready to go. Lots of armor. Let's get a better look. There we go. Yeah, these guys look good. This guy's got an epic helmet with an epic crest on top. Then we got our Cretan infantry, Cretan pirates. Pretty useless, but uh, they'll do the job and holding the line. Got some Athenian early peltasts here. These guys should be able to do pretty good, I think. It says they're light, but they got a lot of armor on them. Okay. So let's go ahead and start getting set up. The mercenaries are going to take the brunt. The non-citizen hoplites. Would have been nice to have some phalangists. They'd be able to hold off these pesky Spartans really, really well. Alright, so we're going to have three in reserve. Okay. And then we're going to take these two Peltasts, and they're going to get up nice and close, along with our Slingers and our Cretans. We have more than enough missile troops to match theirs. Alright, and I want these Cretans ready to kind of help 
stupid little stick them to the rest of the line. All right, so let's get our cavalry out coming around. Enemy reinforcements approaching. All right, where are they coming from? They're coming from over here. Okay, cool. So we can take this hoplite over here and add him to the reserve. Here they come. Send their missile troops out in advance. Where are the Spartan hoplites? Let's take a look at these guys. We have discovered the enemy's hidden unit. Here they are. I think that's them, yeah. Here they come. Here come their missile troops. I think they're mostly peltasts. I believe. Got some slinger units in there, but other than that, Cretans. I need you to go ahead and start targeting them. Oh, maybe you can't. Hit those peltas. We're gonna take their fire for now. Let's actually add another hoplite to the main line. Advance our cav. We got a lot riding on this battle, guys. Alright, these hoplites form phalanx and hold. Let's add another Crete in infantry in order them to these mercenary veteran hoplites are taking a beating actually get to these cab we're gonna go out and round and take some of these archers out let's go take their slingers out yeah, they're taking a beating for sure Alright, slingers, get back. Let's get these peltas stuck in here, too. Oh, they're protecting themselves now. Alright, let's go take out these archers. If we can just take two of them out, that'd be great. Charge in against them. Just take out these peltasts. They're gonna try to send their elites. Ooh, these guys look awesome. Look at this. Look very, very good. But it's too late, they're shattered. And we're gonna get out of there. Slinger, start hitting these guys. Firing into our hoplites here, but they can they can take the brunt of that missile barrage. Let's make sure they're really gonna just break for sure. Our cab are moving in against these archers. Probably should bring these other two out and around. Take these other guys out as well. These guys aren't going to be able to hold up too well against these guys. Got to make sure that these guys are really going to be dead. Yep, see. They're retreating. Alright, so they're stuck in here. Got a way for them to commit these hoplites. Our 
Archers are out of ammo. Let's get them back. The men are wavering. Oh, they're wavering already. That's sad. That's really sad, actually. Let's get them out of there. Done enough damage to these archers. Let's pull back. So they got some mercenaries as well. Ooh, they're just covered in blood. Suffering lots of wounds here. They're getting picked apart. Alright, they've charged their full brunt of their hoplites into us now. So now it's our job to hold these guys back. Let's go ahead and break down this barrier here. We need to get our general out and around. Along with any melee troops we might need for a flanking attack. I've lost about 20 troops. They're getting slowly whittled down here. What are these guys? Yeah, they're mercenaries. So we have what? We can keep two of these out and send them out and around. We're going to keep one here right up here for reserve along with that Cretan unit alright they've got our cav here let's pull back these guys are almost done actually they're dropping pretty fast those slingers are doing a good job Let's get in here. Let's add a little bit more strength to this line here. These Spartans are going to push us back. After all, Hoplite Warfare was a pushing war, if anything. Let's go ahead and look here. Brave Hoplites holding the line. Send them back. Let's get these hoplites out. We're gonna get them out and around here. Let's give a raise. Let's give a rally real quick. Our slingers have charged in. Get back, you silly goose. All right, we're gonna come take out these archers because these archers are firing into our flank here. It's not good. Let's go wipe them out real quick start our flanking charges actually let's keep our general in here for a minute our men flee the field of battle this is a shameful display let's charge into the back of those helots see if we can break them our hoplites are going to come out and around There go their archers. Completely put them to flight. Uh, let's pull back. Holding the line. Throw jabs. Whatever you guys got. Let's get these guys out of here. Let's get our general moving out. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Let's charge in again. Glory. 
Yeah, we're at quite a bit left. Let's pull them out. Let's wait till these guys are fully committed here. These guys are holding quite well, actually. Discharging the Peltasts. Looks like they're going to have to go in here. In the flanking. These guys are holding very bravely. Doing quite well against the Spartan Hoplites, I have to say. Did not expect them to be of the same quality, being as from Athens. These guys are dropping. Very good. Hoplites charge in. And charge in. Yeah, they're breaking. Very good. There goes the famous Spartans. Complete route. Alright, let's get these guys ready. Bring them out and around. We got Periokai. Hoplites over here. Yeah, some of the Spartan units are still holding, but they're mostly broken. Spent force. Got eight seconds left in this episode. It might be a little longer than usual. It's fine. They're bringing out their hoplites to try to stop us here. Alright. Yeah, they're breaking. Let's go and just really make them shatter. Do one more final push should break them. Still got this garrison army over here to deal with. These Greek mercenaries are pretty good. We have the same armor as our Athenian hoplites, though. They just have better melee attack, melee defense. Arius. Yeah, you're dead. Alright, they're bringing in these hoplites. Alright, frontal assault isn't too smart, but we don't really have any other option. They're going to get picked apart as they're trying to run away like this. Yep, this force is a completely spent force. Let's go ahead and just make sure we run them all down. Of course the mercenaries are wanting to break. Cowards. Yep, they broke. They're cowards. Top lights over here. Alright, they're broken. Start running them all down. They're done. Let's bring the citizen cav out here. Their spent force. Let's bring these Tarantines over and start flanking, charging these garrison units here. They should break pretty easily. Let's bring these hoplites over.
Actually, we'll run them down. Get a Cinemac charge in here. That was weak. Get out of there. Get that again. Here they go. Charging the hoplites. Starts the route. Bringing the general with them. General should pack quite a punch. These long lances of theirs. Our men flee the field of battle. Our general is under attack. Suppress advice. They broke one of our hoplite units. What? We'll run them down with these guys. These hoplites need to relieve this beleaguered front line. Going fast forward this. I really like these blue shields. Look very, very good. Alright, it's a victory, guys. They said we wouldn't win. Oh, how they were wrong. Fast forward this, we gotta run all these guys down so their garrison isn't too big for us to take. That's a victory. Heck yeah. There go the famous Spartans. Well, we could enslave them like they did the Helots. You know, it would only be karma. But uh, Greeks don't enslave other Greeks. So we're going to ransom them. We're not. We're not. We're trying to build a Hellenic League here against Mastodon. We're not going to stoop to their level. Okay, like Alexander the Great did with Thebes. Not happening. Probably should go for Crete now, I would assume. I think that's a good choice. Probably should get a fleet, though, in order to stop their army from coming over here. Kill them at sea. Also, we need a fleet to send our fleet over there. So it might be a little actionless for a little bit. Okay, Archon increased in rank. Of course he did. Beat the famous Spartans, after all. 
I'm going to do the same old thing. We're going to get Military Logician with Military Conscriptor. We're going to go ahead and fire some of these Mercs. Let's bring our money down. We're going to go and make sure Arius just doesn't come back at this point. You're going to die. There we go. We're going to occupy Sparta. So Sparta is destroyed. And Sparta rests in the hands of Athens. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. We should get Stratego Spears. Formidable Spearmen. And Exorable Conquerors. So this will give us a little bit more buffs for our hoplite units here. Okay, so we're going negative 26 this turn. That will go down, obviously. Alright, so can we get a trade with you now? No? Okay. Alright, what's well, the end of the episode? I forgot. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Parry the Trojan out. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe.